Hey guys, it's Chase, and before we get into this video, I want to thank all of my new subscribers and my mate Vince for the opportunity of showcasing a repair in his new YouTube series, The YouTube Fixers. So big thanks to him, and thank you to you guys for hitting that subscribe button. Um, for this video, I thought it would be interesting to cover this device. It is a Maxisys Elite Autel, and it's basically like a tablet. It's like an Android tablet where you can... Uh, program car codes and you can read car codes and things like that. Well, um, this tablet shows a battery of 0%, even though the battery is brand new and fully charged. Um, but the tablet shows like the battery is at 1%, so if you take it off of the charger, the tablet just shuts off. So I noticed something interesting on this board that I want you guys to take a look at with me. Um, I started working on this board originally, but then I realized I needed to stop and start taking a video because there's some really, really interesting stuff I wanted you guys to see on this board. So without further ado, let's go to the microscope. All right. So the battery connector is on the other side of the board right here. And now we're going to flip the board over and take a look at some of the chips here that I believe handle battery charging. So if we take a look here at this chip right here, what kind of chip is that? Well, my friends, this is a BQ chip from the Nintendo Switch. Well, that's really funny that this uses the same chip that the Nintendo Switch uses. Well, see, I replaced this chip, and that did not fix the problem. But then I realized that the Nintendo Switch also uses another chip that handles battery detection. And so you look up over here, and you look at that, did you take a look at that? It's another BQIC right here. And this chip, I looked it up, I looked at the data sheet and all of that, and this chip handles battery detection. So wouldn't you think that this chip reports the data to the rest of the board that the battery is charging and what percent the battery is at? Do you think that this chip would do that? I think so. So we're going to change this chip. I ordered the chips, they showed up yesterday, and we are going to change this chip out. So let's do that now. So I'm going to turn the fume extractor on. I'm going to put some Amtec 559 flux around the chip here. And I'm going to grab my hot air. We're going to use 380 degrees Celsius and 60 for the airspeed. Okay, so I'm going to wait for this to heat up here. All right. So let's heat this chip up here. Also, I did reflow the PMIC, the power management chip, but that didn't do anything either. I was kind of sad. But then when I found out that this chip handles battery detection, I was incredibly happy. Like right away, I was overjoyed because I thought this chip I think is the problem there it is all right okay well now we can go ahead and zoom in on this area here and put a little flux down here just a little bit not too much all right so I'm gonna take my soldering iron clean it off because it has some solder on it and so we're going to put a little bit of solder on the tip of this iron. This is a conical angled tipped iron. And we're just going to suck up that solder there. Alright, now we're going to do it one more time. Just try to get those balls good. Alright. So what that does is, that sets us up for success. Alright. We don't need to wick the pads. We could, but we don't have to. Um, because we're going to put the chip right on there and those those pads are all flat enough and the balls will just flow right onto each one of those pads and it will be good to go so right. okay I'm going to grab the new chip here regardless if this fixes the board or not it's still a really fun experience to kind of troubleshoot a board and you're not taking a huge guess, it's more of an educated guess because, you know, ultimately, 
here's our new chip. Ultimately, it's not if you've already if you already learned some knowledge about another board on how it works, then you can learn you know on how this board works as well. Um, just by looking at things and seeing how, um, how they're put together and how they work and especially if you can look up chip numbers too to see what exactly they are and all of that. By the way I did put a little bit of flux down on the board so that our chip will flow in nice and easy. Now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get the chip like kind of centered as best I can and doing it on camera always makes me nervous so I'm always super shaky and when is it the best to do micro soldering? When you are shaking, that's when it's the best. All right, so I'm gonna hold this chip in place and I'm gonna use some hot air to kind of secure it in place here. Okay, that is good for me. And then we should watch the chip and see if there's some any surface tension that will kind of like, you'll see it flow into place. Any second now. You'll you should see it move hopefully, because I know I don't have it lined up that well. I know I have it really close, but not probably not perfect. As the board's heating up here, and you see the chip kind of moved there. I kind of knocked it into place there. Yeah, see, it's uh, there. It is. Did you see it move back into place? There it is. This chip is done. It's ready to go. And I'm going to put the board back into the device and we will see if it is working. Almost forgot to mention, definitely got to clean this up here because there is a lot of flux residue. You don't want to leave that on the board. You want to leave the board and make it as pretty as possible because, you know, not anything is perfect, but you want to try to make it as nice as you can, you know? All right, so let's power the tablet on. Okay, that's good. I did put the battery in it. Now, I did do this before where it could turn on because obviously the battery is a full charge, but the problem was the device didn't detect the battery. And so it showed like the battery was at 0% even though it's fully charged. So let's give it a second here to boot up. I want you guys to see this from start to finish. So hopefully this works. But if it doesn't work, it's okay. And it's working. Take a look at this. 93%. 93%. It's working. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I cannot believe this. But, wow. Well, that about sums it up for this one, guys. I mean, this thing is working. The tablet would uh, shut right down, right away, off of the charger, and it's not on the charger anymore ended up being that chip. Also, one last thing I wanted to mention before I go. There is a video on the Altel channel that makes this tablet that um, basically shows fixing the zero percentage uh, battery indication um, on the tablet by going to settings and then going into reset and then there's this option that says battery reset curve. That option didn't exist in this tablet. So that's not an option for me and there's no other videos online on how to fix this problem. If you guys like the video, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that like button too. It shows me I'm doing a good job and you guys like my videos. Also, if you guys could leave a comment down below and tell me about some of the devices that you fixed or you want to fix in the future or a device that you want to see here fixed on the channel. Well guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.